As ever, it's the common folk that get ploughed. Life can't be easy for anyone who's unlucky enough to be labelled a regicide. Geralt escaped death, but now he needs to find the King's Slayer to clear his name. The clues lead to Flotsam and the Squire Tell Elves. I'll need help, access to your hideouts and maps of your secret trails, and the support of the Scoia'tael. Flotsam should be just beyond the point. We'll take the beach. I'm coming too. Someone's gotta look after you. Roach will risk his life. That time of the month. The port's blocked. Some merchants have been held up for months. The group will set off along the forest trail. But Geralt's adventures also yielded some experience. Lightning Reflex will allow him to parry better and more often, while Recuperation allows him to heal better outside combat. This means you won't have to rely on potions as much to heal. There's a circle of life to the right, and you should get it because it's a difficult fight ahead. The banter. Where are we? In a forest? Very funny. And eventually the topic comes around to the Pontar Valley. I know more about the Pontar Valley than you think. For instance, I know that Foltest stole this land from Denevend a few years back. I believe you had a hand in that? That was a meaningful silence. They might be on the same side for the time being, but it's clear that Roach wouldn't hesitate to sell them up the river if he thought it would benefit Temeria. Hear that? I smell an elf. <laughs> That's Yorveth, a regular son of a whore. Yorbeth isn't exactly trying to hide though, but as you might expect, you won't be able to capture him at this point. Triss, now! <laughs> Geralt doesn't succeed in convincing Yorbeth or his men, but it's clear that Yorbeth is open to talking. There's a confrontation brewing between Roche and Yorbeth. They both have merits to their position, and Geralt will be justified in taking either side, if it came to that. Yet race is the very reason we fight. We have pointed ears, yours are rounded. We are few yet long lived. Your kind multiplies like vermin, though thankfully expires quickly. Humans and elves alike, trying to prove one shape is better than the other. 400 years of killing over the mold of the Oracle. No one will ever use the Square Tal again. Who are you addressing? Me? Yourself? Or the archers in those shrubs? Triss's magic saves them. Roach gets to enjoy Triss's ass. Get your hands off my ass. Please don't die holding a lovely ass. Not mine. I'll hold the spell. Well, luckily Geralt's paying attention. Rather well. But he has amnesia. I actually took the Witcher by surprise when I killed Foltest. Fear not, Elf. I know Geralt. I know his weakness. The King Slayer could have got far away by now. But he wants Geralt to see him. Clearly he wants Geralt to find him, though it's unknown why that might be the case. It could well be a trap. The guard is dumb enough to believe that the Emperor of Nilfgaard is here, but lets them in. You all in one piece? Who are you? I'm a witcher. Emirvar Emrys, spice merchant. Very well. Head for the market square. You might be in time for the execution. Some ne'er-do-wells are going to hang. A dwarf and some bard. If you stay under Triss's spell through the entire trip, you'll receive the cover ability for 10% less damage. Obtaining the witch's secret skill gives Geralt many of the more advanced crafty recipes. Spice merchant. Not likely. Did you say that? Squirrels are our very wolves. Yorveth led them. I saw him with my own eyes. Who are these blokes? They're the ones the elves were chasing. Assault in broad daylight. What about Laredo? Where's the Commandant when we need him? Quiet woman! Shut it yourself! Guzzling ale and lollygagging, that's all Laredo's good at. Hey, it's a Witcher! They always bring trouble. We've all heard what the Witcher did in Bazima. Blood flows wherever the Witcher goes. Why you your hair on the hanging soon. I think the well, I see you at the hanging, friend. Some hanging, a bunch of non-humans and a spy. I heard the spy is cowardly. You're a worldly man. Think he'll shit himself? I suppose I have seen my share. That spy included. So he'll shit himself without a doubt. Turns out that Dandelion and Zoltan somehow got themselves tied up. Zoltan, Dandelion, my fuller. Just great. 
and it's up to Geralt to save them. We improvise. A few remarks about the guards brought them bollocks. Thinks he's tough, showing off his balls. Don't fret people, I've seen the rot on them. <laughs> Starts a fist fight. And that draws the commandant of the town. What the hell is going on here? I said, what the arse fuck is going on? Bernard Laredo, commander of Port Flotsam. Yes, I rule this brother. He burned down a watchtower. It might have looked that way, but I swear it wasn't my fault. He agrees to free Geralt's friends to get on his good graces. We can put on another show, bloody and serious this time, mind you, or we can come to an understanding. But he also twists reality to cast the blame against the non-humans. Listen here. You may have heard rumours of the tragic events that transpired during the siege of Lavalette Castle. Sadly, they are true. King Foltest is dead. It's likely that Scoyatel had a hand in this heinous murder. So you see, none of you can feel safe. <laughs> Damn, that was close. Inkeep! Vodka! They catch up, and Dandelion is his usual oblivious self. Since when have you worked for Roach? Hey, nobody said a word when you went out to save Temeria from the Grand Master and his mutants. Relax, Dandelion. I was just asking. Do what you want. You're an adult, kind of. <laughs> you used to spy for Redania, now you're spying for Temeria. Some might call you a traitor. Not surprising that he almost got hanged. As long as I don't serve Emperor Emir, I'm not doing any harm. Even me, Geralt. You play the spy a bit, get bored and talk it. You know how he is. But they're rudely interrupted by a monster attacking the town. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! What sort of sorceress are you? A lot of good you did! You can get an easy intimidate ability level against the rabble rousers. You can also get an axe level, but it's better to get intimidate. I'm tired of your whining. Get out of here. Ah, oh, as ever. It's the common folk that get plowed. Come on, lads! <sighs> Looks like Geralt will have to work with the sorceress. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. If you go further up the pier, you'll find the Toll Collector's house. We met in Vizima, remember? I stood at the gate to the outskirts. How are you? You can use Axie or Intimidate to get a bit more information on the Kairon. Ever seen the river monster, the Kairon? I have, but I'm not the talkative kind. The monster is as big as a barn, with giant tentacles. Snatches men from boat decks and cattle off the shore. It's slimy like a snail, but fast as a thirsty vampire. Are you the kind that scares easily? Huge beast. Stirs the water with its tentacles like a water wheel. Dead fish all around it. Must be venomous. Inside his house, you'll find the weapon upgrade in the chest on the ground floor. Geralt needs to speak to the merchants at the dock to renegotiate the price for the Karen's contract. They're hard bargainers and refuse to up the payment without some pressure. <laughs> You jest! You can use the Axie sign to convince them to up the price. This will also give Geralt the haggling ability for better merchant prices going forward. So be it. I assume you to be professionals and worth every last copper paid to you. It's a deal. I'm a witcher! Hiya! Geralt can do any number of things around town to pass the time if he wants. If he goes around the town, he can overhear a number of conversations that will give him an idea of how the town is faring, especially the non-humans. I see even Flotsam has its ghetto. We're in Temeria, aren't we? Non-humans are to blame for everything. Cattle plague, higher taxes. Let them live, so long as it's far away and not for too long. There's Dwarf Smith on the right side of town. My prices stay as they are, and I'll not join your guild. Period. I urge you to be considered. I don't give a shit about your guild. I'll not join that racket nor change my prices. My weapons are superior, and that's how I aim to keep it. Shame. Please think it over. The guild helps and protects, and accidents come. Fires are common enough in smithies. 
and a broken arm can make it very difficult to forge weapons. You threatened me, Gipshin! Piss off! And don't come back or I'll thrash you so hard, even your plowing guild won't help you! If you play on dark mode, you can buy the plans for the unique Blasphemous set. A bit further up from the smith, Geralt will overhear some people talking about him. Here comes the Witcher. Think he'll agree? No, My I, prices stay as they are, and I'll not Should we just walk up and ask him? No, Take a good look I at him. He's the idea. I don't give a shit. You see, we've created an alchemical substance, and we wish to test it in Vizima, in a laboratory. Seeing as you're a witcher, we wondered if you'd be willing to test it in practice. In a year or two, given the occasion, you could visit us in Vizima. We'd examine you and reward you generously. We need to study its long-term effects. We can't say more. Are you in? If he chooses to accept their request, you get a small Easter egg in the future. Now, if you could also keep a journal of the experiment. Don't overdo it. The house the scholars went into is a local bookstore. The dwarf owner is the unofficial leader of the non-humans in town. It's not too late to repent. You can get more information about how they're treated. The gods have no love for your kind. Greetings. What brings you here, White Wolf? Make yourself at home, please. I've heard, or rather read much about you, in the letters of the Rivian Diaspora. The non-humans in Flotsam are organised? We aren't. But we aid each other as best we can. I mainly collect taxes and announce the Commandant's dispositions. That'd make you a prime target for Yorvith. <laughs> You're correct on that account. He's warned me many times, and I've explained the need for my function to him just as many. Both in vain. It seems we've agreed to disagree. As well as news about some elven women that have gone missing recently. It wasn't always this hard. Turned sour when several elven lassies disappeared. We lost our trust in the humans and the Scoia'tael ceased trusting us. Did they turn up, the women? No. I believe Neckers killed them. I remember Moral of the White Hands. She and her lover made a beautiful pair. It's also a good idea to spend some money on the books about monsters, because that knowledge will allow him to beat them more easily. There's also an armor enhancement in the chest nearby. One of the things that should be pretty clear from the meeting with Loretto and walking around town is that non-humans aren't treated fairly at all and get the blame for everything. Combined with the disappearance of the women, the tension in the town is about to reach a boiling point. Witches are traditionally neutral, but don't regard themselves as and aren't treated as humans by the general population, even though they start as humans before the witch transformation. If you return to the square by the open entrance, Geralt will be accosted by a bunch of thugs. Well, well, I had an inkling and it didn't disappoint me. It was a long voyage to this cesspit, but it's about to make sense. Voltest's killer, live and in person. How are you? Happy and healthy? Can't complain. I am delighted, really. But you see, it's a long way back to Vesima, and I'd rather not dawdle. I lost a load of time looking for you. No reason to waste any more talking, then. Bon voyage. Listen, Jester. You're worth more to me alive. But if need be, I will take you back as a corpse. You choose. All right. Give it a shot. Drop your sword and put your hands together, or I'll not vouch for what... Shut up. Go ahead. Try to kill me. No need to fear those witches! I've got a ghost! Word of Geralt's escape is clearly spreading, and he needs to get out before other fools decide to take their chances. Hey there, Witcher! Are you Geralt of Rivia, sir? Who's asking? Thank you, Master, for what you did outside Lavalette Castle. Our family would have perished if not for you. Please accept this modest gift. I can't accept this. But... Give my regards to your relatives. In the corner of the square, you'll find a merchant loitering around. He's a messenger from Talar, a character you met in Witcher 1. The messenger seems to be here regardless of how you dealt with him in the previous game. Witcher Geralt? 
Known also as the White Wolf. Am I that hard to distinguish from the locals? Taller warned me you'd be catty. Taller sent you. Indeed. I'm on business here, so he insisted I give you a message and a package. What's the message? I quote him faithfully. Listen to Roach in every plowing thing, because though he's a prick, he's also a patriot. Vultures already circle Foltest's corpse, but I'll manage. Get the sons of bitches and keep your head cool. P.S. You really fucked up at the castle. Give me the package. Take it. It's a weight off my mind, I tell you. Ah, I wouldn't make much of an agent. All that secrecy and nerves and cursing, not my style. Good luck to you. I'm off to tend to my matters. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. See you soon.